Hello everyone, here are my favorite new and unique features of Gothamon's Urano Modular Synth, so features that you won't find on other Gothamon instruments right now. Number one, it's modular. Well, obviously Urano is a modular synth, whereas other Gothamon devices have fixed parts which are hardwired combinations of modules like VCO into VCF into VCA, the Urano lets you freely design your own parts. So for example one part could simply be a sample player oscillator and nothing else, while another part could combine three VCOs, an analog filter, VCA and a delay effect. Number two, a single signal bus. The Urno treats all signals the same way, which means that you can freely route audio signals to modulation inputs and modulation signals to audio inputs. Previous Gotham instruments separated audio and modulation signals, but the Urno is truly modular in that way now too. Number three, a bigger touchscreen. Oh yeah, that big touchscreen with the new menu color palette isn't just easier on the eyes, but it's also easier to use. Naming things with the on-screen keyboard is no problem anymore and drawing sequencer patterns and really just interacting with the whole software side of the instrument is more fun. Number four, wavetables. The oscillators have a new wavetable mode. Those wavetables can be quickly imported as wave files from a USB thumb drive and you can edit and even create new wavetables from scratch with the onboard editor, simply by drawing on the touchscreen. The wavetables are compatible with the free multi-platform and open source wave edit software allowing you to create wavetables on your computer and also choose from hundreds of free user-made ones from waveditonline.com. Number five, the sequencer main screen. You can still set the global BPM via edit knob 4, but the rest is quite different. Now you have preset buttons to set the current part's last step and also the time division, which you can change on the fly. This turns the sequencer main screen into a performance tool. Number 6. one volt proctive CV sequencing from the node sequencers. Urno lets you sequence external analog gear via one volt proactive CV and gate signals right from its internal node sequencer tracks. This is great not just to mix internal oscillators with external VCO modules for example, but also because you can now use scale quantization and more complex modulated sequencing for your outboard one volt proactive gear as well. Number 7. Sequencer ratcheting. The Urno's node sequencers have a repeat setting now that will ratchet steps up to three times. This setting can even be freely modulated to spice up your patterns. Number 8. Trigger probability. You can use control sequencer tracks to set trigger probabilities for each of the node sequencer's steps. This means that you can control the trigger chance for each step individually now and not just for the whole sequence. Number 9. Redesigned gain staging. This is a big one. Fleming reworked all the module's volume characteristics. Urno has lots of points in a patch where you can adjust volume and those adjustments have a lot more headroom before clipping now, making it easier to create cleaner sounding patches with wider sweet spots. Number 10. Improved potentiometer smoothing. The Euronos modules have a lot of settings with wide value ranges to scroll through with the onboard potentiometers. Their response has been tweaked now, which makes it easier to dial in precise values by turning the knobs slowly. All right, those were my favorite new and unique features of Gothamon's Urano Modular Synth. Of course, there are even more new cool features like the new analog and digital filters, the new and improved effects, Eurorack CV and audio level support, etc. So let's keep exploring the Urano. Many of those new features are software based, by the way, so there might be a chance to see one or two of them in other instruments as well in the future. Who knows? Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay tuned for more Urano videos and see you soon.